Hedgehogs are mammals. Touching a hedgehog causes it to roll into a ball to protect itself. Which characteristics is it displaying? Rolling into a ball, this would display movement because there's like a change in position. Touching a hedgehog, causing it to roll into a ball. This would display sensitivity because it shows that the hedgehog has the ability to detect stimuli. Yansabiti. It's not excretion because there's no removal of waste product. It's also not growth because there's also no information about the increase in size and dry mass. So, Yansabiti. Next question, what are features of the leaves of a plant that is dicotyledon? A monocot looks something like this, while a dicot looks something like this. So, monocot, they have parallel veins. This is the feature of monocot. Broad leaves is a feature of dicot. So the answer will be B, since the question is asking for dicotyledon. Dicot, it has a branched vein and broad leaves. Next question, the photomicrograph shows a cell from the type of aquatic plant. Which parts labelled on a photomicrograph indicate that this is a plant cell? The difference between a plant cell and an animal cell is that a plant cell, they have chloroplasts, they have cell wall, and they also have a large permanent vacuole. P is your nucleus. S, the smaller one over here, is your chloroplast. Q is the cell cell wall. R is the cell membrane. So the answer will be S and Q, which is D. Next question. The diagram shows an image of a chloroplast. The image is 5 cm long. The actual length is of the chloroplast is 5 micrometer. What is the magnification of the image? Magnification equals to image size over actual size. That's the formula, and 5 cm is equivalent to 0 0.05 meter. Well, 5 micrometer is 5 to times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter. And now we can divide them, and the answer would be 10,000 c. Next question, what are features of osmosis? Osmosis, it is the net movement of water molecules from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential. of partially permeable membrane. So it does require a partially per permeable membrane, it doesn't require cell wall, and diffusion is also involved. So the answer will be A. Next question. The diagram shows apparatus which can be used to demonstrate osmosis. After one hour, what will happen to the liquid levels in the glass tube? Osmosis. Your water over here. It's a region of higher water potential. While your sucrose solution is a region of lower water potential. Hence, your water molecule will move from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential, meaning that they will move into the tube. Hence, the glass level would rise. 
uh, I mean the liquid level would rise and so be D since over here they say that glass tube A is more very concent more concentrated than glass tube 2 hence the rate of osmosis would be greater because the water potential gradient is steeper next question which substances are made by linking glucose molecules only if you link glucose molecules only you can get starch glycogen or cellulose well if you link fatty fatty yeah the answer is A it is not fats fat is made from fatty acids and glycerol that will give you fats and oils it's also not made from amino acid to make proteins hence the answer would be A when bases pair up in the formation of DNA what is one of the pairings? A is complementary to to T, G is complementary to C, so the answer will be B, G with C. This is something that you have to memorize. Next question. The graph shows the effect of pH on the rate of reaction of an enzyme. What does the graph show? At pH 7, it is your optimum pH. The rate is the greatest at pH 7. So B is incorrect. It should be pH 7. And at pH 9, the enzyme is not destroyed. At pH 9, the enzyme is partially denatured. Yeah, since the rate is not is not zero yet. Then the rate of reaction halves as the pH changes from pH 5 to pH 7. Let's see pH 5 is over here then pH 7 is over here uh, if you count the boxes you can see that it is actually not half right so the answer is not C the rate of reaction is the same at pH 5 and at pH 8.5 8.5 is oops what is pH 8.5 is over here it is correct so D is correct it is the same next question the graph shows how enzyme activity is affected by temperature how can a change in activity between 40 to 50 and 55 degrees Celsius be explained 40 to 55 is over here. A. Heat has killed the enzyme. That is not correct. Heat can't kill enzyme. It can denature the enzyme. The answer would be D, right? Was 40 to 55. It's denaturing. Meaning that the shape of active site change. So we're less likely to fit. So the answer would be D. Mm, it is not C because at high temperature, it is true that the reactant is moving faster, but it doesn't explain why the rate is decreasing between 40 and 55 degrees Celsius. Next question. The graph shows how the rate of photosynthesis of a plant changes with light intensity at three different carbon dioxide concentrations. In each case, the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. What is the limiting factor for the rate of reaction at point X on the graph? So at low light intensity... Limiting factor is basically a factor at the shortest in the shortest supply limiting the rate increase of the rate of photosynthesis. So at low light intensity. Light intensity is your limiting factor. That 
prevents the increase of rate of photosynthesis but at high light intensity which is where X is at light intensity is no longer the limiting factor as you can see over here other factor would be the limiting factor so that is what the question is asking for what is the other limiting factor it can't be B we have already cancelled that out because at X it's already high light intensity it is not temperature because they, the tree of this the tree of this plant they are kept at the same temperature if the limiting factor is the temperature then they should like they should all kind of be at the same yeah like that but in this case it is not temperature it's not temperature it is also not surface of the plant because there's no information about the surface area of the plant the answer be A as you can see over here a higher carbon dioxide concentration there is a higher rate of photosynthesis because you need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis but this one over here have lower carbon dioxide concentration causing a lower rate of photosynthesis and the same goes for this one hence carbon dioxide is the one that's limiting the increase of rate of photosynthesis the answer be A next question the diagram shows a section through a leaf which row correctly identifies tissue X and Y Y would be your upper epidermis X would be your spongy vesophil like there's a lot of large airspace at your spongy vesophil so the answer would be C eh, D cuticle is over here this is your cuticle this is your padicate mesophyll. And the region over here would be your lower epidermis. Next question. Which stage of nutrition takes place when food molecules become part of a body cell? It is not absorption because absorption is like the movement of small food molecules and ions through the wall of the intestine into blood. As in, become part of a body cell, the food molecules move into the blood and uh, the answer is assimilation assimilation is like the movement of digested food molecules into the cell of the body where they are used and then becoming part of the cell into the cell then afterwards it will become part of the cells it is not digestion digestion is like the breakdown of larger molecule to smaller molecule it is not ingestion. Ingestion is like the taking of substances through the mouth. The answer would be B. Next question. What is the definition of chemical digestion? Chemical digestion is like the large molecule to smaller molecule. The answer would be A. Large, insoluble. Change into smaller, soluble. You have to memorize the. You have to know the definitions. Next question: In which order does water pass through these structures in the plant? Your xylem is responsible to transport water from roots to rest of plant. So the answer can't be A or B. Rest of you is like leaf so it's either C or D the answer would be D like a root hair take up the water then the water pass through the xylem then the xylem would like transport the water to the rest of you from roots to the rest of plant next question 
the photomicrograph shows a cross section through a plant stem. What is the name and function of the tissue labeled X? X would be a xylem. Xylem is like larger than a phloem. And since it is like a plant stem, know that your phloem is at like at the upper side. Then to be D phloem. This is the function of phloem, not xylem. Xylem transports water and minerals. Next question. The table shows some features of blood vessels, which row shows the features of a vein. The vein it transports blood towards the heart. Artery is the is the blood vessel that transports blood away from heart. To rest of body. And hence the blood at the blood vessel will have a higher blood pressure. The vein you only have to transport the blood to the heart, so you have a lower blood pressure. A thin wall would do, since the blood flows slower, and you need a large lumen so that the blood moves easily, so the answer would be D. Next question. Question 18. Where are valves found that prevent blood from flowing in the wrong direction? You have valves in your heart and your vein. That's a bit. Capillary and artery, they don't have valves. The only blood vessel that contains valves is vein. It has valves. And at your heart, you have like bicuspid valve. You have the tricuspid valve. Yes. Next question. The sequence of amino acids and antibodies enables them to complete which function? Amino acids and antibody it would determine the shape of antibodies. What antibody does is that it will lock on antigen, hence leading to the destruction of pathogen. And each pathogen, right, they have like their own specific antigen. Like for example, this pathogen A. For example, this is pathogen B. Like they have different antigen. So hence, you need a specific antibody too. Like for example, maybe the antibody for pathogen A is like this shape, right? It can bind to your pathogen A. Um, if my drawing is a bit more accurate, but it can't bind to your pathogen B. It is not complementary. So you need a specific antibody for a specific antigen. The answer will be A. It can't bind to all pathogen. It can only bind to specific pathogen. Like this antibody over here, it can bind to pathogen A. It can bind to pathogen A, but it can't bind to pathogen B. So it can't bind to all patho pathogens. So the answer for question 19 would be A. Next question. The diagram shows some of the structures in a human lung. Where is the carbon dioxide concentration highest? You have your heart, your aorta, your pulmonary artery, your vena cava, your pulmonary vein. The side of the heart transport oxygenated blood. And then over here we have the deoxygenated blood. Meaning that they have like a high carbon dioxide concentration. So your blood from Pulmonary artery should have the highest carbon dioxide concentration. And D, D should have high oxygen concentration. Pulmonary vein. It transport blood to all parts of the body. And A, it's your alveoli, right? So oxygen diffused into blood. While carbon dioxide diffuses out of blood. 